Is it all in? Ready. They're off. A getaway, Jumbi, the slowest of them to come out of the stalls. Pogo on the extreme left is fast away. Quinault and Royal Scotsman, who goes stand side running well for a solo there. Uh, Top Gear's up in the prominent rank as well. A dark jacket and white armlets. The Royal Blue of Noble Dynasty is next. The white face of Ten Bob Tony, the flashy chestnut who won the best turned out award, is in company with Witness Stand. Vedever and Jumbi right in behind these. Light Blue should have been a ring. He's a little bit hidden at the moment. He's at the back of the uh, main group of runners and also great generation towards the rear. They're heading down towards halfway. It's a solo run for Royal Scotsman on the extreme right. Quinault, the green sleeves, leads the main group of runners to Top Gear and Noble Dynasty and then Ten Bob Tony and with this is Witness Stand and Pogo and should have been a ring. Uh, they're followed by Vediver and then comes a great generation uh, just ahead of Jumbi. Heading down with just over two furlongs to go. So Royal Scotsman on the right continues to be alone. Down the centre, Top Gear in the black jacket, white arm that's come through now to go ahead of Quinault. Noble Dynast is behind that. These are clear from Tim Bob Tony and then come should have been a ring. They have a furlong to go and Top Gear races down the centre. Royal Scotsman near side. Quinault behind this to Noble Dynasty. but as they race towards the line Top Gear and Stefan Pasquier by as many lengths as he wants. Royal Scotsman got second, Quinault third and then came uh, Tim Bob Tony and Noble Dynasty. Right, so that's why he was so well backed. Top Gear has <laughs> made mincemeat of what looked a pretty competitive and closely matched field. Three to one favourite, Stefan Pasquier and Christopher Head. Christopher Head, who was on the score sheet on Arc Weekend with the brilliant Ramatuel.